What up guys, it's your boy Harry Wilmington here and I am still on vacation in Bali, but I wanted to come on here to talk to you guys about uh, an important thing that pertains to dating, which is that if, at the end of the day, if you are not willing to listen to what your consumer wants and what it is that they need, then you are bound to lose them. And I want to parallel this with what happened in the presidential race of 2024, because for those of you watching this, as you know, Donald Trump won the election this time and became the 47th president. So it's now his second term. And a lot of people were shocked, especially on the Democratic side. And what I've come to learn is that there were various issues that the Democrats were pushing as things people in their party should want that people in their party didn't want. And because they did not listen, they did not get the victory that they seek. And this is true for a lot of things in life, but I think it really does parallel with the things that, for example, men are saying women should want out of a relationship. And then because of that thought and belief, they're not listening to what women actually want and what they actually respond to. And that can result in you not being able to get women if you're not careful. So for example, with the election, uh, two of the big issues were DEI requirements in the government and also uh, trans women trying to play in naturally born women's sports. And these were two issues that have had a lot of consequences. For example, with DEI, basically that's uh, diversity, equity, and inclusion, which says, hey, you need to hire more minorities and more women at the top of these various companies or include them in various you know, fractions of businesses and stuff like that, right? And so there, that, and that, that's a positive thing to want to have you know, more of a uh, presence that's going to represent a variety of people. But sometimes that comes at the behest of you're hiring somebody specifically because they're a minority or a woman, even if the person you're hiring doesn't necessarily have the full qualifications of what's going to be needed to do that job. And so there are people that have come out and said, hey, like we, we have some concerns about this, these DEI policies and the Democrats at large have been like, well, you need to shut up and that's not a thing. And how dare you, if you try to have any kind of conversation at all about this issue, then you're going to be canceled. And then you get to the issue with trans women in naturally born women's sports, right? Where there have been families who had daughters that were going to need to rely on a sports scholarship in order to get into college. But because a person that was born a man and then decided to transition to a woman and wants to compete is now getting those spots, then their daughters have not been able to get those spots. In addition to the whole issue about bathrooms where there have been, you know, high schools, for example, that have allowed 18, 17 year old transitioning women to continue to go into bathrooms in spite of them still having their male parts, right? And so there have been people on the Democrat side that have been in uproar about this and saying, hey, it's not fair that, you know, these men that were they were born men but now they're trying to be women and they still have all their parts and whatnot like they're allowed in these spaces and the response from democrats at large has been no you need to be inclusive this is how you need to feel about this and if you don't feel this way about it then you're a foe of some kind and you're going to get canceled and joe scarborough brought up the fact that you know a lot of parents who are again they're democrats that they have kids have been saying things like you know you know, in school, my daughter or my son go to class and they're talking about all these issues and they're afraid if they bring up a, a point about the issue that is opposite of what the masses are feeling, that they're going to get canceled. They're going to be put on social media and shamed to death. And so they just don't say anything, you know. And again, when those conversations are happening, a lot of Democrats were just like, well, no, because, you know, they, if they're saying something a certain way, then they're being racist or homophobic or whatever. And so and so. You got to look at like as a result of all of that right there are issues on the table that democrats some democrats are looking at and then they're looking at their candidate who's you know doubling down on some of the policies that they just don't believe in and they they feel are a threat to their livelihood and a threat to you know their their kids and their their kids ability to have a future of some kind right and then a guy comes along that says hey you know what i hear you the diversity equity inclusion thing that's a bad rap we're gonna do something about that hey your kid your your girl wasn't able to play a certain sport because you know they, there's these policies that say that because even if, how they feel about themselves is how they actually are and so regardless of how you're child feels they're going to put him in you know what i understand that and i'm going to do something about that 
And because that guy comes in and says, I hear you, I feel you, I won't shame you, I won't cancel you, he gets to be president. Now, how does this correlate with you as a dater? Well, on this channel, a lot of times I will bring up things that women go through and things that they actually need in order to feel safe in a relationship. I talk about the ways that women think about things that are oftentimes different from men. And I say quite frequently, hey, you know what? You can be mad about it or you can just know how it is and know how to go forth so that way you are presenting your best self, but also you're presenting yourself in a way that is going to be likable to women. And this isn't meaning you have to cater them to them completely, but it does mean you have to know what, the, what, what is important to the other side in order to get the kind of relationships you want and the kind of dialogue you want with women. And I'll have guys come in here and say things like, you know, well, why do, why do we have to do the thing? And they should just be like this and they should know how to do that and blah, blah, blah. And it's not that I don't agree. It's just that I know that I could should them to death, but I'm sure there's ways that we are that they're shooting us saying, oh, men should do this or men should lead like this or whatever. But the reality is, is that the, the consumer is going to be who they are and the consumer is trying to tell you what they want so you know if you're dressing a certain way if you're approaching women in a certain way that to them seems creepy and you can't figure out but that shouldn't be creepy and you know i have guys come in here say for example you know why do i hold guys accountable why don't i try to you know talk about what women should change and my response is i already know what women should change or i know things that i wish they would do differently but that's not going to affect them and how they operate all I can do on my end is what I need to learn and what I need to do in order to get the results I want and to have a better relationship overall with the women that are being talked to. And so, but more importantly, it also speaks to the fact that I can want what I want, but it also helps to know what the other side wants and what to do to be able to give them what they want while also getting what I want in a way that reaches a compromise of some kind. And as you can see from the election, when you don't do that, even in, in this case with women, even women that conceivably would date you or, or do see you as a potential like viable dating candidate, if you're not willing to look at what they're going through and have empathy and compassion and be like, okay, regardless of what I'm thinking they should want, this is what they actually want. How can I make them feel like, like I understand them, I hear them, and I want to help them get what they want out of this, then you're not going to get women because the Democrats, I think, actually had a shot. I think they had a shot to win this, but at the point where, you know, Kamala started talking that, you know, that, oh, we're going to, you know, trans people should be able to this and that. Like, they, they, really, they really did a bad job of not listening to their consumer and, more importantly, punishing their consumer for wanting the things that they want. You know, if, if family's saying, hey, my daughter didn't get a scholarship because of a trans person, and then the Democrats' response is, but they also deserve a shot because even though they weren't national born women, they blah, 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 then you're not listening to the consumer. You're not listening to legitimate concerns they're bringing up. And so the same is true with you in dating. If women are saying, hey, you know, when you dress this way, when you smell this way, when you approach us this way, when you talk to us this way, when you brush our concerns to the side, when you don't do X, Y, and Z, if our response is just, but you need to accept this, this, blah, 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 blah. Hey, you can should them to death. You're not going to get them. That's just real talk. And I learned that years ago. And once I stopped trying to think about what women, how women should be and what they should do and start thinking at, okay, but realistically, what are they saying they want? What are they looking at in me and realizing, okay, I'm not bringing these things to the table. And then what concerns are they bringing to me where I'm just kind of like, that's not a big deal. That shouldn't be a thing. How dare you? And then why am I not getting those women? And so I think, I, I wish people would learn from history, but they don't. But the reality is whether you like the guy or not, Trump knew his base and he knew what they wanted to hear. And there were times on the news where, you know, the, the, the media at large would be like, you know, he said this crazy thing and that's so offensive and this isn't that. Whether it was good or not, he knew what the people wanted to hear. He got more support this year from women at large than uh, Kamala did, which means that even though he's saying some crazy stuff, women are responding to it. How many times have you in your life been like, I don't understand why this guy gets women. He talks to them this way. He says this to them. He's just trying to use them up for sex and this, this and that. And they're still getting women and you're not. And so that's something you got to look at is, again, are you listening to what the consumer wants? Are you looking at what they actually respond to? And are you being able to figure out a way to do that in your own way? Or are you just sitting there trying to shame women to death and trying to say you should want X, Y, and Z and then wondering why you don't get women? It's just, it's just an interesting thought experiment. So consider those parallels. Consider, you know, if you're doing what the, like the Democrats did in your life and not listening to women and not listening to what they actually want, maybe consider that 
if that strategy is not working, you can be doing something different. Now, if you want some strategies on how to do that, I have uh, my Get Girls Academy, which you can go to at harrywilmington.com. You can check it out. You can see what it has to offer, but it has a variety of things in there that are based on things that I learned over time in dating uh, as to what actually works, like what women are actually responding to, how they actually feel, and how you can actually do things in a way that is going to make women feel like you get them. Because at the end of the day, if a woman doesn't feel like you get her and that you're gonna shame her all the time for her just being the way she is, then you're gonna continue to fail. And I wanna help you out. So check out Get Girls Academy at harrywilmington.com. Anyway guys, that's all I got. I'm in Bali right now, so I saw the election results yesterday. Again, this is, a, this is not a political show, so I'm not telling you whether I, whether I matter or not about it. I'm just telling you, you know, I just do parallels on this on this channel with that stuff in respect to like how you can parallel that to your dating life. So hopefully some of what I said will help you out. And for those of you that are having a response one way or the other, just know that this happens every four years. In another four years, something else will happen. Somebody else will get elected and we'll feel different things. So that's all I got. I'm Harry Wilmington. Like this video, subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. I'm out. Peace.